minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos, and today in this episode we'll be going over the rocket car. Now this was a challenge given to me very, very, very long time ago by um, a fellow named Legendary Challenges 1, and it went through its evolution of being this huge bulky machine into a smaller, smaller craft, until finally, finally, I was about to give up and then I uh, went back to it cut it down to its basic basic parts and um, yeah finally got it to work finally got it to work its top speed on flat terrain is about 22 meters per second although you have to be careful around tight turns it is very low to the ground to try to keep stability when it's when it's in its launching phase it it goes straight up into the air so you want to try to keep the weight as equal as possible on the top and bottom. So if you turn the corner going a little too fast, those fuel tanks can nick the ground and explode on you. But other than that, it works just like a car. It can travel all around the KSB center as brakes, steering, the whole nine yards. Now of course the weight to thrust ratio on this thing is very borderline. If you add any more parts to this thing, uh, you risk not being able to have enough fuel to get out of orbit let alone get into orbit so the headlights on this thing are going to have to be of course the helmet lights that are on the Kerbal himself which I guess you could call headlights <laughs> I'm not too sure anyway now how to fly this thing is going to be really tricky if you've noticed I've put um, solid rocket boosters on the sides there I did have liquid uh, engines, liquid rocket engines on the sides, but they used up the fuel that were in the tanks and I needed every little bit of fuel I could get. Plus, the weight of the SRBs are a lot uh, lighter than the side-mounted uh, small probe rocket engines. So the number one key is the SRBs and the number two key are the main rockets themselves. What you want to do is you want to hit the SRBs first then hit the W key and what it does is it helps pitch your vehicle up from the back rear wheels pushing your craft forward and as your push it f as your wheels are pushing you forward the SRBs are pulling your nose up so it angles your craft and thanks to that little uh, metal plate that's in the back there not only does it protect your rocket engines from hitting the ground but it also helps prop your uh, vehicle up at a almost 45 degree angle which is perfect to get off the ground. Now it's going to be very tricky. It actually took me a couple times to get this right. And you have to wait till the SRBs, their fuel, is down to a little less than half before you activate the main rocket engines. That way they're not still on while you're trying to keep the craft stable. This thing only has three, um, three probe body cores for the um, SAS. Just three. It's three small ones and it couldn't, I couldn't put anything larger than that on there. I would have loved to put a larger SAS uh, reaction wheel on it, but unfortunately that would have been way too much weight and I would have never gotten it around the world. And because this is a quick file video, the craft link for the download will be in the description below. All right, well, here's me trying to fly this thing around the world in less than 60 minutes. Enjoy.
ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this show. I tried to keep it under 10 minutes, but I went a little over. Oh well. Now, before I end this video, I want you to know that I am working on a video that you're going to really, really enjoy. It's another quick file video, but I think you're going to really want to keep an eye out for this one. And I'll give you a small hint of what it is. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. I am Veos, signing off.